My name is Stephanie Ely. I'm originally from Yorktown, Virginia, but I currently live in Atlanta, Georgia. The show that I just opened is Invisible to Others, and the main goal of the show is to bring the sighted and the visually impaired together in a gallery to experience art. I did this because I have struggled with my own personal issues with eyesight, and working on my master's degree now, I've realized that there's a part of our community that's not necessarily getting the opportunities, the same opportunities that the sighted community is having. So I wanted to make sure that I could create something not only for the visually impaired, but something that would be stimulating to both parties. So the opening had obviously sighted and visually impaired coming into the gallery space and experiencing art through light enhancements, braille, audio, and of course using different sense elements. So their hearing, their touch, everything was hands on in the show. Next for me, I want to continue to create for them just because I was so touched and to actually find out that people actually were responding to this the way that I was hoping and the way that my research was leading me. I want to continue to do it. I, I have to find my resources and a place to be able to create, but I want to be able to continue doing that. I want to move into audio because I realized that though I'm, in, I'm creating and enhancing the work with Braille and overlaying stuff with Braille and things like that, that a lot of individuals in the visually impaired community also have to rely on braille translators or you know some other means for them to be able to figure out what it actually says just because of the technological advancements today. So I want to continue to create soundscapes and continue to push on the audio side of it and see how that treats the community and see how I can then tie photography back into it. I normally photograph people. I enjoy shooting portraits rather than landscapes or still lifes because for me it's all about the connection that you make. It's all about not necessarily the location that I met you in, but our personal experience. Recalling your facial expressions and the personality that you carry about yourself, that's what I'm going home with. So those are the type of people and those are the type of images that I want to capture. People have continuously asked me why have I decided to create work for the visually impaired and it stems back to me having an extremely strong astigmatism. So it's not that I have a degenerative eye condition where I'm destined to lose my eyesight. But what I've realized is that it is a huge fear for me being a photographer. You know, this is my main source of being able to communicate with someone else is to take a photograph. So if a photograph remains flat, and if I were to lose my sight, like many of the people that I've met at the Center for the Visually Impaired, that makes me say, how am I gonna continue to do this? What, how am I gonna continue to live my lifestyle the way I know it? So I wanna continue to create things that will push photography in another world than what it is today. I have contemporary artists that have inspired me and then personal individuals that I've met that have inspired me. One of the main people being Conchetta Davis. She's a student over at the university that I've attended and she's essentially living my biggest fear and she's one of the strongest individuals that I've met for it. She has low vision and she's a photographer working on her master's degree and it's, you know, it's not easy. It's a struggle for sure. You know, I've, I've met many individuals with partial vision all the way to being completely blind and they weren't all born this way. So along this journey of meeting the individuals, they've inspired me to continue creating for this type of community, for this purpose. As far as a contemporary artist or other people who are creating things like this, um, in Atlanta, Billy Howard is, has tried to reach out to our community and educate our community around this idea of losing sight. He's created a project called Blind Sight, which is portraits that are accompanied by illustrations. So for instance, it would be a photograph of myself and then an illustration of how I see. So maybe the, the vision gets blotchy halfway through, maybe it's complete blackness, depends on the individual. So seeing his show at the Center for the Visually Impaired and a couple other locations, he inspired me to really kick it off, say there's other artists that are doing this. You know, There are photographic collectives out here by just blind artists. There are, they're doing black and white photography with long exposures, and they're recalling their images, they're recalling um, their memories, and they're creating these pictures, and they can't necessarily see it themselves, but they're sharing that with us. So in turn, instead of it just being a two-dimensional object, again, I wanna create something where both people can come and experience it. This work's important because I'm offering an opportunity for the visually impaired to come into the space. I know that I'm focusing this around the visually impaired, but it's also about the sighted. It's bringing the communities together because I feel in our society there's this prejudice against the visually impaired and they vocalize to me how they sometimes feel that they're segregated or that they're treated like a disease. 
when that's not the case. You know, just because you're visually impaired doesn't mean that you're not able to function and you don't enjoy certain things that everyone else does. Um, I think that working with the people that I've met, I've learned that they were a functioning part of our society before. You know, they were chefs, they are teachers, they are mothers, they were, they were actors. And so there's creative minds out there who want to be involved. And just because they've lost, you know, their sight, one of their five senses, they've almost been pushed into a corner and been categorized to disabled. And that's not necessarily, that's not them at all, you know. The, the, the gentleman that prepared the food the evening of the show was completely without sight and made, he was able to prepare food for 200 people that came out. So this work is important because I want to vocalize for them that they're important. If nowhere else, let art be a place that everyone can come together. One thing that I think is very important to take away from this show is, yes, it was a great experience, but the idea that there's a lot of stigmas that need to be erased from what it means to be visually impaired. These people are just as capable as you or myself. And I think that if you're willing to come out and get to know someone and extend yourself, you'll begin to understand that and everything will kind of come together. Not only within my art exhibition, the world of art, but just us in general as a society. Extend yourself, get to know someone else, and remove the stigmas that have been created in our society. If you're interested in finding out more about my work, you can visit me at www.stephanieelyphotography, stephanieelyphotography.com.